All right, guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to compare my first initial impressions with my Ford Maverick as it's compared to my old 2012 Prius Hybrid. So, you know, you might first be thinking these these cars have two vehicles have nothing in common. It's a stupid comparison, but hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, so first of all, both cars are in, in the same price range. They're both around the low 20,000s. If you want the hybrid, hey, I'm comparing the hybrid Maverick. Uh, if, you, if you want the hybrid Maverick and the Prius, they're both in the low 20,000s. So from a price point of view, they are very comparable. All right, so anyone who's in the market for a Prius is, is in a market for a car that gets good gas mileage, a good commuter car. And I think the Ford Maverick Hybrid is, is a capable commuter car that gets great gas mileage. So if you're in the market for a Ford Maverick Hybrid, you probably are in the market for a car that could haul some gear. But, you know, the Prius with the back seats down is quite capable. And, you know, this is bigger than the four and a half foot uh, Maverick bed. You know, you could put quite a few bit of, quite a bit of stuff back here. Both cars seat five people, and uh, there's a decent amount of room in the back rows for everybody. So let's talk first about uh, gas mileage. So th this is a plug-in model, but this car hasn't been in plug-in mode for a long time. I lent it to my son who lives in an apartment. He has nowhere to plug it. So for the most part, this is just a normal Prius hybrid as far as my son's concerned. And it, in our comparison, we'll just talk about it like that too. But uh, the Prius advertised 50 miles per gallon. Um, when you're not plugging it in, of course. And to be honest, that's very hard to achieve. I don't know if you've driven Prius or no Prius owners who always complain that it's really tough to get that 50 miles per gallon uh, average. You know, they have to work really, really hard to achieve it, and some never have been able to achieve it. I know the modern Priuses that uh, they could do a little bit even better, I think 60 miles a gallon or something like that. But this is a 50 mile a gallon model, and it's really hard. I could achieve 50. My, my, my wife cannot. My son cannot. Uh, they don't drive as uh, gas conscious as I do. So you really have to work. Uh, so for the people who don't work hard, this car probably only gets 42, 43 miles a gallon, which isn't too far from the Ford Maverick. Okay, so for the Maverick, the Maverick is actually the opposite of the Prius, where the Prius, it's very hard for you to, to get to achieve the posted advertised miles per gallon, you have to be in ideal conditions and drive really conservatively and just roll a lot. Um, Maverick uh, advertises around 37 combined. Uh, and I could, I'm not working very hard and I could get around 40 very easily. My, my wife and my, my son, they get 37 without trying because they don't really think about it the way I do. So uh, it's actually, easy to achieve uh, the the posted miles per gallon whereas the Prius it, it's very difficult but uh, when I drive I get over, slightly over 40 when they drive they get slightly under 40 so my, my meter says I'm getting around 40 miles a gallon hauling lumber in the Prius yeah you could do it this is an eight foot uh, plank and I still have some room to spare there's plenty of room so when I do my gardening and carry soil and things like that, the Prius has plenty of room with the seats down, no problem. Uh, takes care of all of my needs when I'm doing the gardening stuff. I think it, it, it gets into trouble where you want to carry something that's high, you know, like a, like, you know, a refrigerator. <laughs> Prius has no chance. Maverick, different story. But anyways, I've even put my 12 foot foldable portable in the back of the Prius and it hangs out. But I've, been, I've done it. Okay, so this is that same eight foot plank of wood in the back of the Maverick. And you see that the truck bed has its, has its limitations when it comes to long pieces. So, you know, they do have a flexible bed, which is cool. You could do different configurations, but you'd have to let it hang over there and strap it down. Um, but yeah, it's still functional. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is not functional. It's still very functional. But my point is that the Prius is not that far behind. But And yes, you could carry high things like refrigerators and things like that that you cannot do in the Prius. Now, if you have a family of five and you have the Prius, there is more room in the back seat of the Prius, uh, more leg room. 
Uh, Width-wise, it's about the same, but there's definitely more leg room in the Prius. So that, that's where the Prius would have it, its advantage as a purely commuter passenger car. But the Ford Maverick is actually pretty capable too. Okay, so there is a little bit less leg room in the Ford Maverick, but you know the the shoulder room is about the same. So you know uh, there is some some advantage to having a there's some advantage to having the Prius in this scenario, but again, um, it, it's still plenty roomy enough. Um, it's not as comfortable be in the back seat of the Maverick because it does sit very upright, whereas the the Prius, you, you, it's a little bit more reclined. So comparing the dash on the Prius, this is a 2012 model, and I still think it looks pretty good, even as far as 2012s go. Uh, the dash yeah, looks pretty good. It looks pretty modern. The 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 screen is a bit low, uh, not low. The screen's a bit small, and the camera, uh, the the camera on the Maverick is not fantastic, but the camera on this Prius is uh, just a half step below that. But I, I think the dash and the interior still looks really good, even for a 2012 model. All right, so here's the interior of the Maverick, and it, I think it looks, it looks good. It, it doesn't look great. Uh, one thing I really don't like is this part of the dash. It looks very, very plastically, plasticky, and it reminds me of uh, portable sinks, like they have in porta potties. The portable sink, that material in the old airplane bathrooms of the sinks, they have this plasticky stuff. So I'm not a fan of that. Uh, but the dash is is functional and it it it's good you know it, it's not a, a luxurious uh, model or anything like that but neither is the prius so you know in terms of aesthetics they're they're both very comparable it does have a bigger screen of course it is more modern all right driving wise they're both comfortable cars to drive in there's no issues neither car is going to be on the racetrack uh, the the hybrid uh, maverick is not going to do heavy off-roading um, but driving wise, I think they're very comparable. So I, I think here's where I think the Ford Maverick exceeds the Prius. I think the Maverick is, is a better commuter car uh, than the Prius is a utility car. And I think that's pretty easy to say. And I, I think most people would agree. Uh, getting 40 miles a gallon is pretty close to getting the 50 in the Prius. Um, even though the Prius is more capable than you might think being a lift back and opening up and you can put in a lot of stuff and you can even strap things down if needed uh, the, the Maverick bed is definitely more functional and it's easier to get things in and out so uh, in, in that way the, the Maverick is a, a better commuter car than the Prius is a utilitarian car and they're both really about the same price so I mean I'm really impressed with the Maverick and hybrid and with what you get for twenty thousand dollars twenty two thousand dollars I've never owned a Ford before in my life. This is my first Ford. And for the most part, despite the warnings I've been given by my friends about Ford recalls and things like that, I'm actually very impressed with the, the build quality for what you're getting, the value in this car. I think it's amazing. And I'm very happy to have this Ford Maverick and I think I'm going to enjoy it for a long time. So if you're in the market uh, for a $22,000 car and you're considering the Prius, I think you should consider the Ford Maverick. So I'm really enjoying owning my uh, Ford Maverick XLT Hybrid. I, I think it's a great commuter car. I think it's a great truck. I think it's a great utilitarian car. I, I think it, I think it's a great value car. I, do I think there are better trucks out there? I am partial to the Toyota Tacoma. I used to own one. I think it's a great truck. But as far as value goes, I don't think you could beat the value of this Maverick. And so for right now, for me, I think this is the perfect vehicle for me. Mm -hmm.